Okay guys, let's continue with the next step. After the fuse tool is skinned with a deprint sheet, you would have to fix the position of the sheet on the tool and fix the way it covers, so the form. Uh, deprint is a closed cell foam, so the process we do is we heat the surface, the foam gets elastic then it gets plastic the gas in the closed cells is expanding and so rearranging the cell structure of the foam and after cooling down the foam will keep this form. Deprin is also an insulation material so it is important that you make sure that the heat is going all through the material. Not to burn the Deprin you would have to give them time to get the heat to transfer the heat through the material and get all weak. This takes much time. So take yourself the time and carefully and systematically fan this with a heat gun or with a high power fan. Make sure that every region is reached by the heat. So first work out the rims all around. If there are little wrinkles, fan them away. Next is that you fan in the long direction, in meanders. So each meander halfway covers the other with the heat, so the material is all through heated. The last step is that you Go this direction, also in meanders, slowly passing but not burning the material. So afterwards the material is all through heated this way. Okay? So we begin. I start with a rim. At this time, you remember that I created some defined folds when I strapped the material over the tool. Those are here. See it? What happens if I will apply heat is that the fold is expanding and the folds will disappear. Go down and render. Take care not to burn your fingers. After the shell material is all through heated, it took me about half an hour for this half of the fuse, it's time to cut off the shell from the tool. For this I need a piece of plywood which has exactly the thickness of the base plate and I need a new and sharp cut blade. I fix the blade on the plywood fix the plywood on the desk and move the tool with a strapped shell around this. The thickness of the plywood equal with the thickness of the base plate makes it possible to cut a straight and precise cut to separate the shell from the base. 
and it also gives a, gives a very straight seam where both of the shells are glued together afterwards. As you see, always move the fuse, not the knife. Finally, have a half fuse shell. Which should perfectly fit the structure. Yep, works. <laughs>